Oh boy. Let's see how this goes then. Now we're gonna steal. Yeah, this part. is crazy. If they catch us, we're dead. What do we do now? We need to find the Cyberlife warehouse. That's where they keep the spare parts and the blue blood. Follow me. Cyberlife warehouses. We have everything we're looking for. First, we have to get rid of that drone. Leave it to me. Choice up here. Okay, so I picked the correct choice, but it says I need to go here. Then get on it. Good job, Marcus. Quick, open the other crates and fill your bags. Take as much as you can.
trespassing on private property. Your presence constitutes a level two infraction. I will notify security. John! God damn machine! Where is it this time? I need your help. John! First the drone, now this. Just my luck. Let's finish up and get out of here. Try to find some blue blood. We still don't have enough. That's all we can carry. Let's go. Take me with you. He's on their side. We can't trust him. He took a risk for us. We can't just leave him here. We can't bring them back with us. It's too dangerous. They come with us. I know where you can find more spare parts. What do you mean? The trucks. They're full of bio components. They run on autopilot, but they can be driven manually with a key. Where is this key? Down there, in the control station. There are two human guards. We'll have to get the key without being noticed. This is suicide, Marcus. Our bags are full. We got what we came for. Let's go before they catch us. This is a truck full of spare parts. There'd be enough for all of us. We can't pass this up. And if we get killed, our people will have nothing. We can't take that chance. It's too risky. Wait here. If I'm not back in 10 minutes, go without me. Marcus. I'm coming with you. No, I'm going alone. It's not worth it for both of us to risk losing our lives. Damn dogs. What the fuck are they barking at? Could be the weather. They don't like storms. Yeah, I was gonna take my kids camping this weekend. So much for that. Is Mike still in zone four? Looks like it. And he should be done already. Better off in here than out patrolling in that.
shit. What's going on? Lights are still on outside. Must be the fuse box. Well, I got a flashlight somewhere. Here it is. Fuses are over there. I don't know shit about electricity. And I don't get paid to fix fuses. Let's just flip the switch. That doesn't work. We can call maintenance. What the fuck is this? There must be someone in here. Show yourself! We know you're here! I don't know what you think you're doing, but you better come out right now! <laughs> Did you get it? Hold our tea. Truckload. We stole a whole truck. We had bio components for everybody. We couldn't have done it without Marcus. I came to Jericho because here androids are free. Free to live in the dark, hoping that no one finds us. Free to die in silence, waiting for a change that's never going to come. But I don't want that freedom. And I'm not gonna beg for the right to smile, or love, or stand tall. I don't know about you, but there's something inside me that knows that I am more than what they say. I am alive, and they're not gonna take that from me anymore. Our days of slavery are over. What humans don't want to hear, we will tell them. What they don't want to give, we take. We are people. We are alive. We are free. Could have gone a bit differently then. So if you got caught by the guards, something blah 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 could have happened now. Oh yeah. Ooh, baby. Now we're in Colorio's favorite place. Oh looks like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Oh, we're at the sex place. club, Gloria. It's the address in the report. Right. Okay. Let's get going. Is this where we're gonna find Murphy and uh, Molly? Sexiest androids in town. Now I know why you insisted on coming here. Oh boy. Welcome, 
the Eden Club. Ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything for the moment. Hey, Hank. Hey, Ben. How's it going? That room there. Oh, uh, by the way, Gavin's in there, too. Oh, great. Dead body and an asshole. Just what I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic pet. The fuck are you two doing here? We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? Like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. So disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Damage, critical damage. Strangulation, huh? He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Think you can read the android's memory? Maybe you can see what happened. I can try. The only way to access its memory is to reactivate it. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Just hope it's long enough to learn something.
there was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No. It couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. If you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh, shit. There's gotta be some other way. Maybe an eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I'm gonna go ask the manager a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Did you know the victim? No, I mean, Nick. I mean, maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and go on their way. You ever have any trouble with the androids? Lost a model two, three months back. Uh, same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor. Hello, we have things to do. Please, Lieutenant. Just trust me. How are you doing? Expense account. <laughs> Purchase confirmed. Eden Club wishes you a pleasant experience. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Hello, Diggy. How are you doing? It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The deviant leave the room. A blue haired Tracy. The club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. I supposed to do with this one tell you changed your mind uh, uh sorry honey let's try this one this better be One saw the Tracy with blue hair. I know it. Well, you're getting dissing for this. Oh, that's a good thing that you're gonna live. <laughs> I'm just melting away from the heat today. Well, it hasn't actually been that bad for me. I think it was like 36 Celsius degrees outside this afternoon outside, so... Yeah, let's see if his foot flying. Not 
nothing. Blue-haired Tracy didn't come this way. money and I'm still not having fun. No idea what you said, West. Wait. I'll take it from here. Too late. 
Yeah. Now we're gonna look for the blue blood here. Heck at it. New superpowers. Christ, look at them. They get used till they break. And then they get tossed out. God damn it, these camera angles sometimes, man. You move, Hank. You freaking in my. Ah, doofus, Hank. <laughs> it was in the way, so I couldn't get out. Fucking insane. They don't want relationships anymore. Everybody just gets an android. They cook what you want, they screw when you want. You don't have to worry about how they feel. Next thing you know, we're gonna be extinct because everybody would rather buy a piece of plastic than to love another human being. Beats me. Follow the blood trail, it is over here. There she is. There she is. I didn't, I didn't come to the sex club for some uh, playtime. We get this for free, we didn't even have to pay for it. <clears throat> Tracy I knew I was next I was so scared I begged him to stop but he wouldn't and so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving 
I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. better this way. Interesting. Yeah, see, if I shot them, it would have turned out differently then. One, I can't remember what I did in my previous playthrough. Kind of curious to see. Look it up. Where are we now? Oh, it's Cora and Luther. Cora. When I see Luther, I just think about the Green Mile. That movie. Big giant. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Alice out walking in this cold. I saw it once in the garage. I don't know if Zlatko even ever used it. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids Lako captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Slako killed them. Is it much farther? We should arrive in an hour or so. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. If it only had been that easy, huh? This doesn't look good. Still not a human. How can she be? But she acts differently though. She has emotions and stuff. That's the only difference. She looks different, but that's because she made her look different. She's still an android. It's Cove Amusement Park. Welcome. Hardy Hard. Over there. Now we're gonna play pirates. We need to find 
find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. I guess tavern will be the best place. anything better let's settle in for the night i'll get a fire going coach day uss iowa missing all android band tipped for music prize No to cookies, what the heck? Pirate pillow. Oh, 
there. It's over here then. Do you think we'll be like them someday? Once we cross the border, we can start over. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together, that's all that matters. Don't worry. Luther and I will be right here. You need to get some sleep now. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. I should have one for you. Okay, we take the one about the unicorn, right? This is a story about a unicorn that... No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. This is a story about a little girl. Who wasn't very happy. She dreamed of being like all the other little girls, but... Deep down, she knew she couldn't. Then, she met a robot. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but... But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met... A gentle giant... ...who promised to protect them. How does the story end? They reach the place they dream of, and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings, but real life isn't like that. Time to sleep. We have another long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course.
She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. It's still snowing. We have a long walk tomorrow. We better leave early if we want to avoid being seen. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Jerry, we were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in... Well, she should follow us, then. Alice, I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't think you have any choice. <laughs> I'm on board. The carousel is about to begin. I miss looking at it and 
Maybe I should have read the articles more or something. Probably. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? I saw a photo of a child on your kitchen table. It was your son, right? Yeah. His name was Cole. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls... They just wanted to be together. They really seemed... in love. They can simulate human emotions, but they're machines, and machines don't feel anything. What about you, Connor? Do you look human? You sound human? But what are you really? I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Your partner? Your buddy to drink with? Or just a machine? Designed to accomplish a task? You could have shot those two girls, but you didn't. Why didn't you shoot Connor? Some scruple suddenly enter into your program? No. I just decided not to shoot. That's all. Just come back as if nothing happened. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You can't kill me, Lieutenant. I'm not alive. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? 
Tell me this, smartass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Where are you going? To get drunker. I need to think. <laughs> not quite how you think. And he's gonna get passed out on the floor again. stay silent anymore it's time humans heard what we had to say you know they'll never listen to us and revealing ourselves will put us in danger if we want freedom we need to have the courage to ask for it that's the only way what do you want to do channel 16 broadcast from the stratford tower the control room is on the top floor that's where we need to go Operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything. What do you to mean change? second part, first one? And hello, Murphys. You missed when we were at the sex club. Uh, we saw you and Ali there looking for your wives. Mm -hmm. I played this uh, game three years ago on the PS4. It wasn't out on the PC then. This is my second playthrough. So now we are playing on the PC. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Elizabeth Wilson speaking. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh, no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. I 
have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. I need your help. I'm glad you're feeling better, buddy. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Renji. I told you something there. <laughs> you missed you missed uh, the dog earlier, Orangey. Sumo. Big Sant Bernard hand dog. There's one now. Uh, he was over here. There was. I feel better, Murphy's. Rest up. Sending 
launching rockets into space. I mean, what do they even expect to find up there? Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. What an answer. Let's do this.
human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. Who told you to come here? Looks bugged if you ask me. Hey, do you understand what I'm saying? Call Central, fast! Central, we got armed intruders, sent! They know we're here now, we better be fast. Simon's been shot! I'm okay, I can keep going. We don't have much time. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. We shouldn't have done that then. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. segregation in all public places and transport. We demand the right to own private property so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Ah, 
Let's find out, hey, button. decision but I'm sorry Simon I don't have a choice there's always a choice citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the android's this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Of course, there's always a choice. But I shouldn't have shot the uh, operator running away, though. I should have let him live. Because it would, guards would have come no matter what. Okay, where is she now? She's all the way to the left. But shooting Simon was the only way then. Unfortunately. But not the only way, but the uh, way for the group. for a little uh, trip. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. so calm and peaceful far from the noise of the world tell me what have you discovered 
I found two deviants at the Eden Club. I hope to learn something, but they managed to escape. That's too bad. You seem so close to stopping them. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I thought I knew what I had to do. But now I realize it's not that simple. You had your gun trained on those deviants at the Eden Club. Why didn't you shoot? I don't know. I don't know. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. I mean, his damn coin. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. 79. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's buttoned their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. You check the roof. Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it they out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. They probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. A station employee. Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. One bullet straight through the heart from 50 feet. Now that's the kind of shooting only an android could do. How many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message. then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. We found the body of an android on the rooftop. Not sure what happened. Maybe it got wounded, I mean damaged, and couldn't make the jump. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the Deviants, it's on that screen over there. King time. Yep.
Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. <laughs> Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android hanging around? Hmm. After everything that happened? Whatever. If the FBI would take over the investigation, you soon be off the case. No. Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Think that's RA-9? Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Yes, I. You remember me? I was on that terrace. That android that took the little girl hostage? I was shot? You saved me. Sorry. You must be mistaken. I would have died on that terrace. Even if it wasn't you. say thank you mm. Mm. signs of forced entry there are cameras in the hallway the staff would have seen what was happening why did they let him in maybe they didn't check the cameras we 
We stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. State your model. Model GB300, serial number 336-445-581. Three, three, Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. The what the? Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. You're going to be switched off. We're going to search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed. Do you hear me? Destroyed! If you give yourself up, Maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is deviant? Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Spamming button. Stop it! 
Why is that? Connor. Good night, Connor. Connor. Not Colorius happy, Connery is dead. <laughs> hey, he saved Hank. Inside. Clara is not blonde. She has black hair now. Do you think we can trust them? We don't have a choice. You okay? I'm cold, Clara. We'll get inside. You'll warm up in no time. Oops. Fever. We've spent the last few nights outside. She's exhausted. There's a spare room upstairs. You can put her to bed and I'll bring her something to eat. Adam, will you show them upstairs? What the heck is he doing? Up. Do a little pirouette. Bell ballet dancing time.
fine, Car. We can't stop because of me. We've got to get across the border. You need rest. Get a good night's sleep, and we'll set off again tomorrow. Why do humans hate us? We didn't do anything wrong. Maybe they're just scared. People are always scared of what they don't know. Why can't we just talk to each other? They'd see we're not bad. I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know what you like, but I made you Rose's world-famous spaghetti. You'll be back on your feet in no time. There's something for her fever. Thank you. I'll get these washed and dried. You need to eat something. You haven't had anything since we left. Promise me you'll try? I'll be downstairs if you need anything. Get some sleep. And tomorrow, you'll be stronger than me. I'll stay with her a while. Due to the gentle giants, the story. I didn't get your name. I'm Kara. This is my son, Adam. I'm Rose, but you know that already. Come and have a seat, Kara. So are you gonna tell me what a deviant's doing in the snow with a little girl? Her father was beating her. When I saw what was happening, something snapped inside of me. All of a sudden, I felt like her life was more important than mine. I had to protect her. So we ran away. I understand. Why are you helping us? Most humans hate androids. My people were often made to feel their lives were worthless. Some survived, but only because they found others who helped them along the way. You and your son live here alone. My husband passed away two years ago. Adam and I, we've just been trying to scrape by. We grow vegetables to sell at the market. <laughs> we'll never be rich, but there's always food on the table. We're not the first ones to come here. These past few weeks, we've seen more and, and more. I don't know what's going on, but something's happening. We've heard you help androids cross the border. Can you help us? The only way is over the river, and it's mostly frozen in winter. It's very risky. And after that android speech on TV, everybody's on edge. It's probably safer for you to stay here until things settle down. We can't keep hiding like this. Alice needs to feel safe and have a normal life. We have to get across that border. No matter what. Please. You've got to help us. Rose, come quickly. Uh -oh. Oh. 
What's going on? It's Mary. She just shut down. We escaped together. We used to talk about what we would do once we got across the border. I loved her. I loved her more than anything. What will I do without her? Let them be. Alice? What are you doing? You should be resting. I wasn't sleepy. It's okay. She didn't want to stay in her room any longer. You all right, Kara? Yes. I'm fine. Hmm. We can't hide them. Not after what those deviants did today. It's too dangerous. Do you know what will happen if the police find them here? We'll go to prison, Mom. Do you understand me? Prison! Adam! We've already talked about this. I, uh... No! I won't back down this time. You're gonna ruin our lives, and for what? For a bunch of machines? They are not machines! They are alive! I'm alive! You're alive! They... they're nothing! And none of this would be happening if Dad was still here. I will not stand for that kind of talk. I'm not going to prison because you want to help these freaks! That is enough, Adam! That's enough! Don't mind him. Hmm. Sometimes he just boils over. It's been hard since his dad passed away. <sighs> but he's a fine boy. I'll go see about getting you across the border tonight, okay? You stay here. I won't be long. Can I get some more water? So be right back. Scary, huh? World War Three, who would win it? 
treat yourself. AX400, yes, it's 899 dollars. 899 euros. I know you think we're just machines, but since I met Alice, I know I can feel things. I care for her. I fear for her. I can't be happy if she's not. This probably doesn't make any sense to you, but I know she changed me somehow. Police! It's the police! What are we gonna do? They know we're here. We have to open the door. Hurry, Luther. Take Alice and hide. I knew this was gonna happen. I knew it. Upstairs. Come on, Alice. If they see you panicking, it's over. Do you want to get us into trouble? Do you want to get your mother into trouble? And keep calm and just do what I say. Yes, sister. Sorry to disturb you. We've had reports of androids in the area. With all this deviant business going on, you can't be too careful. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? May I come in? Uh, of course. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Would you like a cup of coffee? I'd love one. Have you noticed anything unusual recently? Any unexpected visitors? No. No, nothing in particular. Is anyone else in the house? There's... There's my daughter. She's asleep upstairs. Do you have any androids here? for helping in the garden, but we got rid of it. And I...
seems to have woken up. What a lot of grab them. What's your name, son? A Adam. M my name is Adam. Is everything all right, Adam? Androids, they... He needs a rest. He's been working in the garden all day. Do you know anything about deviants? Have you seen any? No. No. I, I, I haven't seen anything. I better go. Thanks for the coffee. Have a nice evening. Is somebody else in the house? Uh, it's nothing. The, the washing machine. It's an old model. It makes a terrible racket. Sorry for the inconvenience. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Adam.